Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Night. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snow uh, Biome Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. These arms are also at the Nightmare Speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. All right, so I've spent some time uh, off camera. This is, uh, I think I was right around here where I left you guys last. And so we finished, we came down this road, and even started going down that road, but I decided to come back because I just didn't see anything down there. And so uh, we came back this way. We worked our way up through here to here last night. And then this building here, which is what our goal for this episode is, is the big, the big um, crack a book store. And um, so we're, we're going to go in there because there's a lot of stuff that we need schematic wise. But anyway, I went there last night and I climbed up on the roof and kind of checked it out. And then uh, I jumped off the roof and I kind of started working this way and I got rushed by another running horde. And I, so I just booked it back to the building and kind of got up on the side of the building, you know, with some frames. Zombies came through, tried to bust through the window, get to me. I eventually killed them all. But the bad news is I have no more extra 762s. Everything I have left is in my guns, which isn't a lot. Uh, so it really sucks because... <laughs> because we're so low on ammo already. Uh, but anyway, we did survive. That's the important thing. And incidentally, I've only died, you know, twice. Uh, and both of those times that we died yeah, have been on camera. So, you know, we're doing okay in that regard. But man, we've had some close calls, I'll tell you what. So anyway, uh, we, we I made it through there. And then I, I, I looked, I could kind of see this place off in the distance, but I wasn't really sure what it was. So I worked my way up this road here. And um, realized that that you know that that was just a camp, so I figured, well, let's just keep going on up the road. Uh, stopped off here, built the campfire, made some bacon and eggs because you know I, I killed a, a mountain lion and a rabbit, a couple rabbits actually, and then worked our way in this road. Now this is really kind of crazy terrain through here, and maybe I'll even take you there and show it to you sometime. But basically, this comes down a, a down a really really steep hill, um, and this is all kind of in a ravine here and then this is a really steep uphill climb and so i climbed all the way up there to see where this road leads because i figured well you know it could lead to a trader got this far and there's another military base and a cabin up there and i didn't want to keep get going from there because you know we're getting too far away from the city so i worked my way back uh across through uh, here and back down uh to the city here where we are now this is a really cool area I, i'm like really digging this because we got this big lake here and then the city front is just kind of all along the lake and then of course on the other side is is the even larger lake um you know this this lake here so i just i'm just really digging this area and it very much reminds me of waterfront types of cities like you know like seattle and san francisco and places like that um, I'm actually from Washington State. I was born uh, in Washington State and, you know, uh, have been to, I wasn't born in Seattle, but I've been to Seattle many times. So, I don't know, this is kind of reminiscent a little bit of Lake Washington in Washington State. It's kind of the same idea if you guys are not familiar with Seattle. Basically, you have Seattle. On one side, you've got the Puget Sound, and then on the other side, you have Lake Washington. So, <laughs> this kind of reminds you of that. I, it's a... Uh, uh, it's just really neat, and I'm, I'm just really digging this city, so we, we definitely have to live here. Um, we just got to find, you know, again, we just have to figure out where the trader is. I even toyed with the idea of maybe building our own base right out in the middle of the lake. Um, wouldn't that be cool? It would be, it'd be kind of a pain in the ass, you know. Um, I'm not sure how we would protect it. I guess I would probably do the slanted, you know, the or, I mean the wedge uh we build some pylons right and then we do do the wedge thing um the problem is and i'm not sure how deep this water actually is but the problem is that the zombies you know they can walk on the bottom of the water and they're still gonna they're still gonna be um that's way up there. no no way in hell we're going after that thing um they're you know they're still gonna be hitting on those pylons under the water and, you know, with it being cold and everything, you know what, screw it. Let's just go in the water for a second and take a peek and see if we get an idea. Okay, so, I mean, it's not super, super deep, but, I mean, it's it's deep enough to where it would be a, kind of a pain in the ass to do. But, I don't know, I'm just tempted to do it. But the other option, of course, or, or an other option, I should say, is like we talked about in the last episode, and that is doing the Daishong. I mean, we got that Daishong there, but we also have this one that's overlooking the lake, too, so... 
I don't know that we we have some options there, but I just really like this area. I think it's so cool looking. But anyway, for this particular episode, uh, we're going to go ahead and do this bookstore because I need schematics. Now, I want to look at something. I, I've been telling you guys I'm not going to do intellect, but I'm starting to get really freaking tired of walking around all over the place. I, I'm just going to level with you. I really am. So we would have to get um, we would basically have to get intellect to level four in order to get you know in order to make the mini bike that's what it boils down to so we would have to invest five points in total um in intellect to get this so that's one of the reasons why i want to go into the bookstore now because we might there's always that possibility right that we can find the schematics uh, for the mini bike or even the bicycle or even the four by four for that matter um in you know in here and so let's let's do that first before we make any rash decisions when it comes to our points now, um, a lot of zombies got in here, and they did, you know, they did, hopefully they didn't, like, ruin a bunch of bookshelves. But here's the place where, you know, kinda, I kind of stood my ground. I, I tried to, I tried to jump back up here because I had made a nerd pull up to, to the roof. But there was just a bunch of zombies and even a bear right ar around here at the time, and I couldn't, I couldn't get up. So I ran over here and managed to kind of get up into this corner. But then that block was kind of glitching me out. And so, you know, they broke through there and I just, I kept shooting them. And uh, again, like I said, I managed to survive, but geez Louise, we, and we shot up almost all of our 7.62s. So that really sucks. I mean, we're, we still have a half a stack and then some of nine mil. So it's not like we're desperate, but we definitely are not, you know, we don't have an abundance of ammo at this point. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, let's go ahead and go in here. And uh, see what, uh, you know, what we can find. Uh, I'm not worried about brass right now. Uh, see what we can find uh, in the way of schematics. Now, we should probably put a drop chest down. I mean, I got, I got so much stuff. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's go over here. And we'll do a chest. And we'll put some stuff in it. I, I've really tried really hard, guys, not to loot. Just because of our space situation. But, I don't know. It's hard not to... <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to loot. It really is. So let's put this down here. And uh, we're just going to throw a few things in here that we don't need to take into the bookstore. Oh, incidentally, um, when I was up on the top of the mountain by that military base, there was a bear up there. And he uh, he stepped on one too many landmines. <laughs> so he killed himself for us. And so we harvested him and we got a bunch of meat. Um, and the testosterone extract, which we can use to make the uh, hormone, or what is it called? The steroids. Yeah, the steroids. Uh, all right, so let's see. Uh, we don't need to take that in there. We don't need to take any of this stuff in there. I'm, I'm not even sure why I'm hanging on to that at all. We should probably keep everything else. We might find a vending machine in there, so I want to keep the coin with us. Okay, let's go do this. Let's go do this. Did we loot this already? Yeah, we did. Yeah, there. this place was nuts, man. There were so many zombies in here. Um, you know, the sleepers mixed in with the lumberjacks and then the running horde. It was crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't have the camera on, but the thing is, is I can't have the camera on all the time because... I could, you know, I could let it run, right? But that takes up a lot of storage space on the drive and all that. And so it's just not practical to let it run just to catch those few moments. But then on the other hand, you know, if I'm doing off-camera stuff and then crazy stuff happens, you know, with my setup, it's, I, I can't necessarily... I mean, I, I guess I could have it ready to start i don't know maybe i should do that we'll see <laughs> we'll see i just didn't do it that time so apologize that you guys missed that but uh anyway let's move on okay so i don't know that i want to go head to head with a bunch of zombies if it was just one i wouldn't worry about it but two could be a problem i don't know let's just uh well, I guess the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure it's clear in here. So, and let's see, we have, we could do our, I'll tell you what, here's what we're going to do. Here is what we're going to do. 
we're gonna put this here and we're gonna put this here so if the shit hits the fan we have a place that we can jump up on uh to fight you know whatever fight the seekers uh, I, I guess we could have locked the doorway too, but the problem with that is, you know, you just never know when Larry's going to show up out here, and I don't want him coming up behind us, so... In fact, for that matter, let's even, um... Let's even block this off. Oops. Come on, man, what the hell? <laughs> okay. So let's make sure the floor, the first floor is clear before we start looting the book. Uh, bookshelves. I'm not hearing the usual sleeper noises that you hear. That doesn't mean they're not here, though. We should assume that they are here until we know for sure that they're not, you know? I just hope, like I said, that they didn't damage a whole bunch of bookshelves. Because it was crazy in here, man. There were so many zombies around. I want to say that we're in good shape here. Let's check this back room, too. Door's locked. All right, here, grab this. Probably not anybody in there. I change my mind. <laughs> Okay, Nurse Nancy's not too tough. We can just do a normal wood block with her. Um, let's try and keep it somewhat quiet, too. Um, just because I don't want to attract our friends upstairs. Uh, let's put this here. Okay. Come on, Nurse Nancy. Oh, there's another guy right there. Check it out. I wonder if we can take her out without waking him up. Oh, yeah, right. Like that. That didn't work so well, did it? <laughs> it's okay. We can handle these guys. You guys are light work, man. You're just light work. Oh, I found an, a green fire axe in a car, too, by the way. So that was nice. Okay, we're clear. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and loot the bottom floor and see what we get. Craft cigars, man. Plant fibers and paper, 250. Oh, that's nice. Okay, cool. We uh, we need to do that. For sure, for sure.
flannel shirts and sweatshirts and skull caps that's actually going to be useful to us <laughs> actually going to be useful to us what do we need for a flannel shirt by the by the way we still don't have a really good winter shirt uh we need one sewing kit and 20 cloth fragments and i think i put a sewing kit in our drop chest out, outside i think can't remember for sure if we did or not puffer coats yes 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 oh baby that we needed for sure so we can do flannels and puffer coats that's going to help so much feathers oh we need actual cotton cotton hmm that's going to be interesting see we can get that from i think we can get that from taking apart mattresses right yeah that might be a little interesting to do unless the, maybe the trader will have some i don't know we'll figure it out but man that's cool that we can make that and a flannel shirt very very helpful steel tools baby steel tools i love it i love it All right, I believe we are finished with the bottom floor. Let's go ahead. Uh, this is a, a, oh, you know what? We didn't do the little Starbucks coffee thingamadoodle over here. Oh, all right, let's see. Food. We do have a bacon and eggs left. Uh, we have 243 coins. So how about, let's buy this. Um, and we're not really in that bad of shape, though, actually. Let's buy... How much... We got 100... So we can buy two of the... No, we can only actually only buy one of those. Yeah, you know, coffee's kind of important right now, so let's do that, and let's actually drink one, too, because we're kind of thirsty. Then we'll eat this in just a little bit. We'll scrap this for um, junk turn ammo. Okay, that's it for the bottom floor. Now, let's go, except for the bathroom. Let's go into the bathroom. Yowzers. Okay, he's just a normal. Uh, so we can just put a regular wood block down there and we should be fine. Wow, that's a lot of cash. You know, maybe the whole... Oh, shit. I was going to say, maybe the whole fiasco with... Um, all the guys um, in here. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, let's, uh, let's go do here this. Let's uh, make sure the rest of the floor is clear. Sure are a lot of couches in this place. Good place to get leather, man. All right, I'm going to say it's clear. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but downstairs we got the chassis for the 4x4 and for the motorcycle. So, man, if we could find the accessories for either one of those, that would just be a freaking dream come true. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> it really would. Um, it would be so neat to get the motorcycle right now. Let's go ahead and eat this. Okay, here we go. Nice, a crucible. Oh, fantastic. Okay. We will be in the steel business once we find a schematic to make an actual forge itself. That's the only workstation that we don't know yet. Cargo pockets. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. This is a profitable trip, you guys. Profitable trip. What do we need for those? Uh, duct tape, leather. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. 
Yeah, we'll have to get try and get that done as soon as possible. Ready with a magnum drawn in combat uses 20% less stamina. All right. 20% more arrows and bolts from your target. Look at that. Pump shotgun. I'll take it. Beautiful. All right, guys, that's it. That's it. So we found some good stuff in here. We really did actually find some pretty good stuff in here. We didn't find um, all the schematics we need to make an actual vehicle, which kind of sucked, but that's all right. I mean, you know, we did good. We, we got the pump shotgun schematic. We got the steel tool schematic. We got a bunch of the magazines, uh, the cargo uh, storage pocket schematic. So I can't complain. I really can't. That, that was a good run. That was a really good run. So... All right, let's go down back downstairs. You know what? We need some leather for cargo pockets. So let me actually harvest up some of this leather. All right, shoot. I thought I I thought I had some sewing kits, but apparently I don't. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> we are so full. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna, we, don't, we don't need the paper right now. We don't even really need the cash right now because I have no idea where the trader is. Um, yeah, let's leave the duct tape here. We'll leave the leather here. Um, let's see, what else can we... We can leave the testosterone, we can leave the steel. Just stuff that we don't need right now. Let's see, do we need hydration? We could use one thing of hydration. So let's just drink that. You know, the beer could actually get us out of a bad situation so i might hang on to that i guess taking up so much space though we could make a bacon and eggs now um that would free up one slot but um you know i'll probably continue to loot more eggs as we go so well that's that's okay that's probably good enough i mean we'll probably eat this next just to free up the slot um or we could eat the egg bacon and eggs i guess it doesn't matter but uh, that was a good run. That was a good run. I'm pretty happy overall with everything that we got out of there. I mean, we can make the puffer coat. We just need to come up with that cotton. And here again, I think I can get cotton by taking apart mattresses. Um, or maybe that you know maybe the trader will have some for sale because we're not going to find it growing, of course, because you need a a green biome for that, and there's no green biome on this map. But at least we can make it now, so that's good. Uh, we can make the flannel shirt. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, we needed a, we needed a sewing kit for that too. I mean, I've got those back at our base. Um, so it only takes twenty fragments. So as soon as we come across another sewing kit, you know, we're, we'll be able to make that shirt right off the bat, and that's going to actually help quite a bit with the cold weather, I think. So let's see what what's the plan here. So the plan is I'm going to continue kind of working my way around the perimeter of the city here, looking for that dog on trader. I really, really hope we can find a trader. Um, near this city because I'm, I'm loving this city. I really do. I like the the lake and the waterfront um, I'm so wanting to live here um, And even if you know, even if we don't find a trader, I think I eventually will uh, Live here whether we you know move up to the top of Daishong or something else But anyway guys, I'm gonna let you go here and I'm gonna just keep working my way around the perimeter of the city Trying to find that trader and uh, when I bring you back in the next episode, we will figure out what we'll do at that point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.